Welcome to this clip from my Twitch stream of where I am playing some random game. Maybe Elden Ring or Hogwarts Legacy right now. Hopefully you enjoy and um, stick around to the end. All right. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen. And I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. Welcome to these old fools. I received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere, and Sorona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I've retrieved a stolen helm that he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lodgok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something. I feared as much. What? I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. Rookwood, huh? I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. Thank you. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Over here! Sorry, I was uh, sleeping. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Why can't we go in the front gate, exactly? No more happy days for you. Professor Fig. How nice of you. You can't stop Renrock's rebellion! Huh. If only Renrock were here to see this! Buddy. 
didn't even realize he was there there for a Oh, big. Oh, no, no. Alright, I'll go in first. You're so old man, you can't do nothing. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. Hmm. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. Okay. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. Huh. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Oh, I knew it was going to fall. How'd you get down there? I suppose that's the quick way down. No, you did the quick way down. You just appeared. You ought to cut back on pudding. Took you for a troll the other day. Bavelio. Huh, what symbols? Come on, big keep up, old man. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. How'd they get in there? What the hell is this? It's red. This must be it. Rebellion. The store of magic and the source of Ranrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? Right here. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. It was. Hey. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be! And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Okay. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock, and my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. G'day, Fig. Hmm. 
I would join you if I could. Yeah. I shall await your arrival in yeah. the map chamber. Yeah, well, that's all it is. I don't need your help. on something. To reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer.
giving us an arena. I need to proceed to the left here, but how? That's the weirdest things, Ira. You're already walking in that bridge.
Is it possible to pull one of those blocks through the archway? Way ahead of you, Yura. This wasn't close enough. Take those. Makes me wonder what I'm about to deal with. Or not. It knows.
a relief. Grab a chest before I do anything. Oh, use the pencil. Let's get some more lore. I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Oh yeah, she did say Do you come in? I ain't actually expecting you guys. Please, have a seat. She owed you. What'd she do? Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? Took away his pain. He took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. The hell? Thank you. Bigger ball. Bigger. Oh, that's all I've seen with the hell. You're back. And in one piece, no less. One piece. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep this second artifact safe, as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, tell me this. What was the glowing stand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? It was... pain. You will understand more about her actions as you complete the trials. I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. 
I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of, well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well, and we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Christmas? Christmas time? Spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. I take it you're ready to learn. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Yes. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding the charm, times. as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. All right, we don't we want you blowing your hand off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Let's learn nice space. and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put... To practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Uh oh, pumpkin. Yes. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Excellent. Interesting. You have it well. Oh, I rest side down. I hold it long enough. Oh. Come here, Sebastian. What's up? You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spell book we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it.
because in the spell book I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Whoa, Ominous. We were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. All right, buddy. What are we going to say now? I am not letting this go. What are you going to do? Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. How the hell is that? It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, you can like and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Twitch where you'll get the actual stream and say just clips, you can uh, find the link in below. Also, there's shirts and Facebook and Twitter, which I don't think that's important. But if you want to follow, you can follow. If you don't want to follow, you don't have to. Thank you again. Bye.